Welcome to Easy Alim Learning Simplify. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning from two mathematics. Our topic for today is vectors. Our subtopic is adding position vectors. So we've just learned what position vectors are in the previous lesson. Go back and check that out in the video. So when it comes to addition of position vectors, it is very important you're able to know the coordinates of the position vector. That way you're able to do the addition correctly. Let's look at examples of such questions. So we know that if you look at OA, our OA, the position is going to, you can see if we move from vector OA, is going to be two steps on the x-axis, so two, and three steps on the y-axis, so three. And then OB is going to be four, five steps on the x-axis and two steps on the y-axis, so two. So those are our position vectors of A and B. That's why we call them A and B. So if you were to look for A, B now, if we join point A and point B and we look for A, B, meaning our vector is moving from position A to position B, then it means that we need to move from O, A. Remember, we are moving from A, B, like that. So it's, we have to go to, this is equals to A, O, so we are moving this direction. We want to move from point A and then we go to point B. So we we'll use this direction, A, O plus O, B, like that, plus O, B. So this is the same as negative A, remember it's opposite, plus B. So our O, A, A, O is now the negative value or the negative coordinates of a or in simple terms this vector is going to be b minus a and that's the reason why we are coming back here so this is the same as our b is 5 2 and our a is 2 3 so this becomes you're subtracting 5 minus 2 and 3 minus 2 which will give us 3 1 so you see how we end up with b minus a. We end up with b minus a because of the direction of the vector. So that's what I, I that is what basically means addition of vector. So we move from a to o plus o to b, which ends up being b minus a. So let's look at a few example questions that will help us to understand this concept. So find the coordinate of P. So you are looking for P. If you have been given OP is equals to OA plus OB minus OC. So for us to figure OP, we need to get OA, we need to get OB, and we need to get OC. We have been given the coordinates of point A. So point A is 3, 4. Point B is negative 3, 4. And point C is negative 3, negative 4. So remember what we said previously. So if A is 3, 4, our OA is going to be 3, 4, 3 minus 0, 4 minus 0, which is going to give us 3, 4. Again, our OB is going to be minus 3, minus 0, minus 4, minus 0, which is going to give us 3, negative 3, 4. And then our OC as well is minus 3, minus 0, minus 4, minus 0. This is going to be minus 3, minus 4. Now we have our position vector A, position vector B, position vector C. So using these position vectors, you can come back to our question. Our question says OP is equals to OA plus OB minus OC. So let's write this. Our OA is 3, 4 plus our OB is negative 3, 4 plus our minus our OC which is minus 3 minus 4. It's like that. So this is the same as 3 plus minus 3 minus minus 3 like that. 4 plus 4 minus minus 4. You can decide to do two at a time. So 3 plus minus 3 is 0. We are paying a debt of 3 because we had a, a debt of 3, so none is left. Then 
plus plus three is three. So you end up with three. It's like zero, zero plus three, which is three. So four plus four, <clears throat> you get eight. So minus minus is positive. So four plus four plus four basically, which will give us 12. And so our OP is going to be three, 12. So that means our coordinate of P is going to be three, 12. I hope you've understood how we did that. Let's look at a few more questions. Three points A, B, C have position vectors O, A, O, B, and O, C expressed in the form of A, X, Y, the vectors B, A, and B, C. Okay, so let's, let's see that. So we have O, A, we have O, B, and we have O, C. So O, A, let's say this is the origin. We have A up here. And then this is still the origin. We have uh, B up here, it's like that. So you are being told to look for this vector. We have uh, O, A, O, B. We are looking for vector A, B, basic, B, A. Actually, it's the other way around, B, A. So for us to get vector B, A, or move from point B to A, we need to get B, O, this is O. So this is the same as B, O plus O, A. You're getting that so this is the same as getting our if we represent OB as B and our OA as A and our OC as C this is the same as minus B because it's going on the opposite side we have OB if we invert it, it becomes minus OB you're getting that so plus our OA is A so this will remain this is the same as A minus b and we already have a we have the coordinates of a which is six two and then we have the coordinates of b which is three four so this becomes six minus three and two minus four which gives us three two minus four is minus two and so our b a is three minus two so it's the same thing we are repeating with o c so we have o C, OC is actually on top because you can see it's going to move two steps. It's actually the other side. Two steps on the from the origin and then 12 steps up. So this is what we are seeing. And then our O is two steps this side. So let's wrap that. So it would be uh, two steps from the origin on the positive side and and six steps so let's take it for example here so this will be our a this will be our c so we are being told to look for uh it's b c not a so our b where o b is three steps so let's wrap this so three steps from the origin so the positive side and four steps upwards so around here let's pick it up here since this is 12 so our b would be around here so this is just a, a, a sketch it's not necessarily actual so we are looking for b because we need the direction we need b c like that so for us to get b c the direction it means we need to go to b o plus o c that's how it looks like and remember we said o b is represented by b and OC is written by C. So if we look at BO, it's the opposite, it becomes B. And then if we take OC, it becomes C. So this is the same as C minus B. I hope you're getting that. So our C is equal to OC, which is 12, negative 2. And then our B is equal to 3, 4. So this becomes... 12 minus 3 and 2 minus 4. 12 minus 3 is equal to 9. And then 2 minus 4 is negative minus 2. Minus. It's minus 2 minus 4, which gives us minus 6. And that is your answer. So it is important for you to see the direction. You know we are building up to 
finally introduce the midpoints later on in a later lesson. But it is good to see how the vectors are moving in what direction. This is going to form a very big basis in your knowledge of vectors. So check out more relation questions on the app. You get a few questions to practice on with answers and you can try them out on your own and see if you get the same answer. So check out more revision questions and rules. So see you in the next lesson.